All right, so here's another weekly plan update. This is my moringa tree, and he's growing steadily. He hadn't died yet, like the first one. I'm kind of happy about that. And uh, in last week's video, I showed you where the new growth was after I took me a little bit trying to find it. Well, where I snipped it off at originally was right here where my fingers at, and you can see how much it's grown since then. I even snipped it off again right here and uh, it's still growing. Got some new growth right here at the very top. I've got some new little leaves right down here. And uh, stem's a little thicker, it's still not very woody yet. But uh, yeah, it's gonna keep on growing and I'm gonna keep trying to take care of it, make sure it doesn't die this time. All right, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on my moringa tree. I want to talk about my pepper a little bit. Um, last week, snipped it off right here, and uh, it sprouted out all kinds of new growth so far. I've got some new growth right here. I got some new growth right down here. Oh, all these little leaves in the way. Right down in here, some new buds all over the place, and uh, I've even got something that looks like it's trying to pop out right down here which is kind of hard to see but I don't want to get my little iPod down there in the dirt but I expect that'll be popping up here pretty soon too we'll see how that goes and uh, ended up I said I was gonna wait till this week to do the um, update on the pineapple mint but I went ahead and repotted it and added that to last week's video but as you can see, uh, it's got some new growth already. It's already starting to shoot up again after I trimmed it down. And uh, I'm gonna keep taking care of this one and see how much it grows and maybe start using it in some tea or something. We'll see. Uh, over here, little gojis. They started growing again, just a little bit. I got a couple new leaves up there on top of that one. And uh, this little bitty one over here is not growing so much, so it might be the one that gets pulled out of there. And here is my cilantro. Doing quite nice, if I do say so myself. Got some new growth right down in here again. And uh, over here, take a look at my pods. Still dirty. Still dirty, but a lot of growth. Uh, these guys are growing a little bit more. I wish they'd grow some more so I could eat some of them. Um, but that would probably make a very small salad. Uh, the little gojis in here are doing really good. They've got some thick stems on them, which is encouraging because that makes me think they're going to be kind of strong. There's another one with a thick stem. These guys down here are popping up, starting to get a little bit more as far as leaves are concerned. Getting some good leaves on them. So, just see how they grow. Hopefully they'll grow as good as the ones up above. Over here, uh, that's where I planted the little cherry tomatoes uh, when I did that tutorial on how to make these pods. And they haven't sprouted yet, so we'll keep an eye on that. Of course, I went ahead and stacked all these other empty pods up. I can't do anything else with them until I get some more dirt. But, yeah, that's the way they're going to sit. Just right next to these over here. And uh, just like in the tutorial, I put the sides inside so that when they're ready to go, I can just glue them to the side of the bottle over here so that it reinforces them they don't get all crumpled up and fall over. Alright, uh, so that's pretty much the end of my update this week. I do have questions about this pepper though. Um, it is starting to shrivel pretty nicely. I don't know when you're supposed to harvest these things, so any advice would be much appreciated. Uh, if it's time to take it off now, just let me know, and I will take it off and harvest the seeds. Alright guys, we'll talk to you later.